two million years ago on the African savanna, a species of small ape-like creatures discovered tools and meat and slowly began to evolve away from their ape origins. Scientists are looking for a strange species of ape man, a creature that might link modern humans to our first ape ancestors. From Asia to Africa, a few fragments of fossils are all that remain of perhaps the strangest episode in our evolutionary journey. Yeah, this is modern. No, no, no. No modern. No homo sapiens. A time when we were no longer apes, but not yet human. The greatest discoveries are sometimes a matter of pure chance. I was flying up to Ethiopia from Kenya and we diverted slightly to the east of normal track and we were flying up the eastern side of the lake and I was looking out of the window. The ground beneath the plain looked like the sediment left by an ancient prehistoric river. What we were flying over wasn't volcanics as we'd always assumed, it was sedimentary exposures. And where there are sediments, you usually find fossils. For millions of years, rivers have washed into Lake Turkana a massive inland water on the remote Kenyan borderlands. 200 miles long and 40 across. Until Richard Leakey's diverted flight, no one had thought to look for fossils here. The African fossil hunting dynasty of the Leakeys had spent years uncovering extraordinary evidence of our earliest ape ancestors. Fossils like this almost three million year old Australopithecine record the earliest days of our evolutionary story. But these ape-like animals were a long way from being human. To understand how apes could become us, scientists needed fossil evidence of creatures which had developed more human features. But so far, only a handful of fossils had ever been discovered. Determined to explore Lake Turkana, Liki made contact with a fossil hunter called Kamoya Kimao. Kamoya had trained with Richard Leakey's father, Lewis. He said, we are going to dig uh, human being bones.
all over the world, scientists have searched for something which might connect our earliest ape ancestors to us, a creature they called the missing link. Since 1859, when Darwin first published Origin of Species, people became increasingly captivated by the idea of the missing link, the transitional form that would link apes to humans. And since that time, scientists around the world have looked for evidence of the missing link and for remnants of the missing link. One scientist, Eugene Dubois, traveled deep into Java, convinced he could find evidence. This is the Solo River, the Bengawan Solo River in East Java, near the village of Trunil. And this is one of the places where Dubois came in 1891 looking for the missing link and as he marched along the river banks with his men he spotted what he describes as a thumb shaped piece of, of uh, bank sticking out and he had an intuitive feeling that that was some place they ought to look the first discovery was only a single tooth but before a month had passed, they found this gorgeous thing, a skull cap. 